Hi everyone, I am Brittany, the Cosmic Lunar Soul. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to my subscribers. Today, I have something really fun and different. I found this on Robin's Reflections channel. Um, I will link her video below, but this is basically clue for tarot. So this is called, the, this is the hashtag whodunit. And we're going to figure out this murder mystery together. We're going to find out uh, who killed who with what and why. So, um, okay, let's get started. So I am using my Everyday Witch Tarot. I feel like I had such a hard time deciding what deck to use. I think I'm going to do this for a few different decks if this turns out to be a lot of fun, which I feel like it will be. The premise is we had to divide the deck up. We have our aces here. We have our court cards here. We have our majors, our minors, and then we have the death card. So the idea is that we shuffle up the majors and find out who was it that was murdered. And then what we'll do is shuffle up the aces and that will tell us the method of murder. And then based off of whatever suit that is, we'll take those court cards, line them up as suspects and use our minors to figure out the motive and see if we can find out the killer that way. All right, let me go ahead and get set up. All right, here we have death looming at some poor soul's door let's see who it is that we find who we uncover whose lifeless body is laying there waiting for discovery let's see we have the moon which is really funny because i was just watching um amethyst ascensions uh video and that is the card she got so i'm gonna go ahead and set these majors off to the side all right, let's determine our method of uh, murder. So cups are poison, wands are stab, pentacles are bludgeoning, and then swords, no, swords are stabbed, wands are shot. Um, so let's go ahead, let's see. How was the poor moon murdered? Someone, some crazy person poisoned the moon so that means our suspects are going to be i'm gonna put this over here kind of move this here we have our suspects here we have the page the knight the queen the king of cups all right, let's see which of these monsters poisoned the moon and why. So what we're going to do is take our miners. I'm going to shuffle them up. I think I'll leave them all upright for now just because it's simple, easy to follow along with. And let's see if we can figure out some motive here. All right, let's see what the page's motive might have been. We have the Four of Wands. You know, the page here, you see him painting out in the woods, has all of his stuff with him, making quite a mess. I feel like this person would not have left a very clean trail. He's also very young. I can't imagine him um, poisoning the moon and being able to get away with it. He definitely would have left some paint behind as messy as this kid is. And I feel like this, this kid is really focused on just celebrating and maybe he's even, um, been out there painting, uh, the, whatever celebration is going on. They're both outside. You can see these different scenes here. So I don't know. I don't know about this page here. Let's see about the night. All right. Uh-oh, the knight. <laughs> I like how we're getting fours here. The knight, the four of swords. I feel like the knight might have been stewing on something. And look, he's swimming over shark-infested waters. I feel like this is like a metaphor for this person being really charming on the outside, but sinister on the inside. 
And look, he's even offering up this cup of love. I wonder uh, if it's tainted love, though, tainted with poison. Um, and with the Four of Swords, I feel like this knight has had a lot of time to sit and stew on whatever it is. Uh, maybe the moon spurred him. He realized that the moon is available for everybody. The moon belongs to everybody and affects everyone and only wanted the moon for himself. Very selfish knight here. Knights can be really uh, impulsive as well. So maybe as he's flying around, he realized that everybody celebrates the moon and loves the moon and the moon loves us all back. He flew into a fit of rage and offered the moon some poisoned love. Let's see about this queen though. Let's see. Ooh, we have this queen here who looks really peaceful. She is pregnant, enjoying some time by the water. It looks like she is having a good time with her cats. There's one in the background as well. Maybe she's even feeding the fish. But I feel like she has had to fight a lot to get to this peaceful point. And maybe that has made her a little... Um, weary about losing this piece and anything that might challenge that piece um she might challenge it back she'll stand her guard and sometimes the moon enlightens things about us that we don't quite like it might really bring to light certain things that we want to remain in the shadows so maybe she didn't want her rough past to be brought to the light so she is offering so she is hiding behind that peaceful air but really has a really uh rough past that she she didn't want the moon to to i guess show the world let's see about this king though he looks really comfortable here on his little island oh we have the five of wands Okay, so I feel like the king had um, maybe a little bit of a colorful past with some ladies <laughs> and has had issues with um, them fighting over him. And you can see that the king and queen, they don't seem to be on the, the same island together. So maybe, you know, there's a little something going on between them and these ladies are deciding they want to get rid of the queen, perhaps. Um, and in doing so, maybe they accidentally poisoned the moon somehow. Maybe this king is just, uh, uh, not necessarily the, the perpetrator, but he was the intended victim or his ladies were the intended, um, assailant and accidentally poisoned the moon instead of instead of him or her. Let's see, let's do another row and see what's going on. Let's go back to the page, this peaceful page over here, painting away. Oh, we have the Seven of Swords. So I still feel like this um, page is, maybe this page is painting, it's a type of therapy. They might've had a little, a rough childhood. Um, Maybe they have stolen their paints, but I don't think that they are set out to poison anyone, um, whether accidentally or, or intentionally. Seems to be sneaking off, sneaking away. They want to stay hidden, but um, I think that maybe they acquired their paints in ways that they would not want the queen or king to know about. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not thinking the the page is is really involved in this. Let's see about this knight though. What is he up to? Well, we have the two of pentacles. Okay, I think this knight is definitely lacking a lot of balance. I think this knight kind of had a moment where he just snapped. This was a fit of passion. This was a poisoning of passion, a passionate poisoning, <laughs> and he just couldn't hold it together anymore the, and look it's so cool you see this cat jumping the knight's trying to hold it together and then this cat jumps and just kind of throws him off and it causes him to snap he flies across the water and offers the moon offers the moon some of his tainted love let's see about this queen let's see what's 
going on with the queen? Oh, the queen, you know what? I don't think the queen did it. She had a rough past, but she is tired of fighting. She's just trying to persevere in her new life, a new life that probably is quite loveless with this king. Um, and she's tired. This is why she's on her island. She's trying to relax, trying to separate herself from that, trying to find some peace in her, in, you know, during this pregnancy peace with her cat trying to just enjoy the healing serenity of the water around her i i don't think she's involved in this i don't think she's involved at all let's see though about this king a little suspicious here with his harem of women so let's see what's going on we have the nine of cups so i don't think that the king um i, I think the king might have been worried about uh, the moon shining some light on on some situations with some you know, situationships <laughs> with some uh, women that the queen might not know about. But I think ultimately the the king is really trying to bring the family back together. I think I think he's trying to to. It's almost like I think he's peering at her on her island, keeping track and. Um, this might have been happening in the background, but I don't think that they have the power to, or they wouldn't have accidentally poisoned the moon. I think that maybe they were trying to uh, just get under her skin a little bit, scare the king a bit. But ultimately, I think he's at peace and he's trying to uh, really just balance those emotions and and put the correct step forward that he needs for his family or his impending family or anything like that. So I really think that it's this night here. So we're going to see, we're going to put the death card back in with the majors, shuffle it up. And then basically what we're going to do is flip until we find out who, who done it. <laughs> so let me get this shuffled up. All right, and we're going to start with the page and go on over. All right, so let's see. We have Justice. We have the High Priestess. Devil, Sun. Let's see. I'm going to just flip through quickly because the idea is to get to the death card. Oh my gosh, you're almost through. <gasps> it was the page all along? Oh, wow. Okay, let's go revisit, guys. Where did I get it wrong? Okay, guys, let's see here what happened. I think that the page set out with good intentions. I don't think he meant to poison the moon. I think there's a little bit of poison uh poisoned magic that is going on so the page set out to uh paint this celebration that's going on have a good time enjoy the festivities um and we find out that he stole those paints and those paints are magical anything you paint you know dies so before he decides to paint the, the festivities going on, he decided to test out by painting the scene of the moon. So he wanted to paint this, this lovely moon. But unfortunately, he found out too late that the paints were tainted. So instead, what he did was try to sneak the paints back, and that is how we caught him. <laughs> Okay, guys, that was super fun. I got it wrong. I was very, I thought it was the night. You guys have to let me know down below who you thought it was um, and why. And tell me, are you surprised about the page? Do you think there's a different backstory that I didn't lay out? Um, and if so, let me know. And yeah, this is super fun. I think I will definitely do this for other decks. Um, if you know what decks I have, guys, comment below. Let me know which decks you want me to use, and I will, I will do them in the future. All right. Thank you for joining me in the hashtag whodunit. 
And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this, give me a like, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.